Hi guys, it's Samantha. From your partner having an enormous ego to spending all of your money, here are signs that you might be dating a sociopath. Number 15, huge ego. One of the most telltale signs that you're dating a sociopath is their ego. If they have an incredible opinion of themselves, then there's a chance that they have this personality disorder. They'll often come up with several things to make them appear extraordinary. A sociopath will talk about their successes, significant plans that they have for their careers, and various other things they've done in the past that will put you in a state of awe. However, many times these things are severely exaggerated or outright lies. They're basically selling themselves to you, similarly to how you amplify your skills on a resume to get a job. But this Despite the probability that many things they say are false, they could believe the lies themselves. They've convinced themselves that they're some sort of majestic human being, and nothing you say can change that opinion. Number 14, liar. We just touched on the fact that sociopaths lie about things to make themselves look better, but they don't only lie about that. They tell falsehoods about almost everything. Sometimes they might not even have a reason to do so. The vast majority of people feel guilty about saying things that aren't true, especially to people they love. But sociopaths thrive off of this. They don't like telling the truth, and lying keeps them safe from people finding out the kind of person that they are. However, in rare situations, a person with this personality disorder will be honest. This usually only happens if they think they're on the verge of losing you. They will profusely apologize with the goal of regaining your trust. By doing this, they can continue to manipulate you. Number 13, not empathetic. Considering their ability to lie without guilt, you probably already guessed that sociopaths are not empathetic. They are unable to identify with their feelings, thoughts, or emotions. They are only ever truly focused on themselves and can't understand where you're coming from. Plus, they don't really care. So if you've noticed that your partner doesn't seem to take your thoughts into consideration and continues to do so, then you might be dating a sociopath. Signs of this could be refusing to comfort you if you're crying, not asking about how you're doing, or only ever talking about themselves. Number 12, manipulative. It shouldn't be surprising at this point that sociopaths are also very manipulative. They will say and do anything to get what they want. If you've ever noticed that your significant other only seems to compliment you when they want something, then there's a chance they're a sociopath. They're also very good at tiptoeing around a subject to achieve their goal. For example, they'll bring up an item that they say they need but can't afford, knowing that you'll feel bad and purchase it for them. They'll often say they'll pay you back, but chances are that you'll never see a penny of it. Plus, if you bring up the fact that they owe you cash, they'll come up with excuses for why they can't pay it, avoid the subject, or make you feel bad for asking. Number 11, no shame. We already noted that sociopaths don't experience guilt. Someone like this can fib their way through life without feeling bad about it at all. They do whatever they can to benefit themselves and could care less about who they negatively impact along the way. If your partner cheats, lies, and controls you, especially without remorse, then you are most likely dating a sociopath. Although they'll sometimes apologize if not doing so results in a loss for them. They will often show no shame when they're caught. Plus, even if they pretend they're sorry, they aren't. It's all just a show. Number 10, impulsive. Sociopaths are also very impulsive, meaning that they don't put much thought into things before they do them. They don't consider the outcome or the people they will affect. One example of this is spending money. If your partner is a sociopath and you're living together, then this has probably had a negative impact on your life. Your partner might go out and purchase a vehicle without you knowing, and then you can't pay your rent for that month. But since they wanted the car, it wasn't important that they couldn't afford the bills. In fact, they might even blame you for bringing up small purchases you've made. Keep in mind, however, not all impulsive buyers are sociopaths and vice versa. Number nine, jealous. Another red flag that you're dating a sociopath is if they're overly jealous of the people you associate with. This can include all types of people, but it is usually the most apparent when you're talking to someone they think you have a romantic interest in. They will often become angry and make you feel guilty when you didn't do anything with that person. But sociopaths also become jealous of your friends and family. They don't want you to go anywhere without them and view others as a threat, like they might take you away from them. Plus, they accuse you of doing things that you didn't even do, which often means that they've done it themselves. If you always feel as if you have to defend yourself against untruthful accusations, then there's a good chance you're dating a sociopath. Number eight, fearless. Since they don't have the same feelings, emotions, and judgment as other people, sociopaths often seem fearless. They aren't scared to do things that others would find terrifying or dangerous. People with this disorder will exhibit risky behavior without considering the possible consequences. This could be because they don't experience emotions like normal people and want to feel something like adrenaline. So they'll do things that most people try to avoid. For example, they'll drive extremely fast, weaving in and out of traffic, driving in the shoulder, and doing other unsafe things. They'll even do this when you're in the car with them because they don't really care about your safety. They're just looking for that rush. Number seven, rule breakers. This one kind of goes along with the last section. Since sociopaths don't feel afraid like others do, then they are much more likely to break the rules. They'll skip class and cheat on exams in school. They'll steal from stores and people and they'll break other various laws. People that have this personality disorder don't feel the need to follow the same directions as everyone else because they aren't concerned with everyone else's well-being. So, if you've noticed your significant other is prone to breaking the rules and doing illegal things, then there's a chance that they're a sociopath. 
Number six, charming. Another prevalent trait of someone with this personality disorder is that they're very charming. They project an inviting, kind, and charismatic image that you can't help but fall for. They will flatter you constantly, even if it seems over the top. You might think they're exaggerating, but you'll want to believe it, so you will. However, a sociopath charms just about everyone they come in contact with. They make acquaintances easily, but tend not to keep friends for long, despite their ability to maintain their romantic relationships via manipulation. So, if you've noticed that you're the only person who has stuck around for an extended period of time, then your partner could be a sociopath. It might be best in a situation like this to find out why they're no longer friends with people from the other person, not your significant other. But finding an inside perspective can prove difficult since sociopaths try to keep you away from other people. Don't forget to subscribe, thanks, and now back to the video. Number five, get fired often. Something else a sociopath can't seem to hold on to is a job. Their blatant disregard for other people gets them in trouble at work. They refuse to follow the instructions their boss gives them and do what they want instead. If they're working in customer service, then they'll often upset patrons with their bad attitudes and lack of empathy. Plus, they're rule breakers. As we previously discussed, a sociopath doesn't see the need to follow protocol when it comes to life and definitely not when it comes to their job. So, this usually results in them getting fired. However, they won't admit that it was their fault. When they tell you that they lost their job, they'll come up with an excuse. They will lie about what happened and play the part incredibly well. In fact, they might even work in a few tears to make you think they're upset. But if you've noticed a pattern in your partner losing their jobs, then you might be dating a sociopath. Number four, forgive them quickly. Another interesting sign that points to your partner being a sociopath is if you forgive them quickly. This might seem strange at first, but the more you think about it, the more it makes sense. We already talked about how sociopaths use manipulation to their advantage. They'll do whatever they can to hold on to you as long as it benefits them. So when they are caught in a lie or you're upset with them about something else, they'll do everything in their power to get you to forgive them quickly. As we stated before, they'll cry when they lose their job to prevent you from finding out the truth. But this applies to almost every situation. Sociopaths are wonderful actors because it's necessary for them. Since people like this are unable to feel certain emotions, they have to pretend they do to find acceptance. For instance, let's say that you're mad at your partner for buying something when you're both struggling to make ends meet. They will come up with plausible excuses for why they needed it and probably make you feel guilty in the process. Therefore, you'll end up forgiving them. This is a win-win situation for a sociopath. Number three, unreliable. Sociopaths are also very unreliable, which might not come as much of a surprise considering their constant lies and absence of empathy. However, when you're in a relationship with one, you might not realize how unreliable they are off the bat. Since they'll spend the first weeks or months of your romance acting like someone they're not, you won't realize how untrustworthy they are until later on. So watch out for this if you're trying to determine whether or not your partner has this personality disorder. This aspect shows up at various times. For instance, they'll continuously show up late for your dates or cancel on you. They might forget special events like your birthday or anniversary. You also won't be able to count on them for simple tasks like cleaning, grocery shopping, or doing laundry. However, they'll reassure you all the time that they're going to change and work harder, but they won't. They don't care enough about your feelings to fix things. Number two, blame others. One thing that is a complete giveaway for a sociopath is how they always blame other people for their wrongdoings. There isn't a time, besides when they're giving a desperate apology, that they'll admit they're wrong. Like we discussed in the section about getting fired from jobs, they refuse to say it was their fault. If there's something else they can blame it on, then they will. Even if there isn't anything truthful to go off of, they'll make up a complete lie to avoid taking responsibility. Sociopaths are also wonderful at turning every situation around on you. If you bring up something that they did, then they'll automatically make you feel bad or accuse you for their actions. For instance, let's say your partner broke something of yours and you're upset about it. You decide to confront them because it was very important to you. But when you do, instead of apologizing for what they did and admitting the accident, they make it seem like it was your fault. They might say something like, well, if you wouldn't have put it there, then I wouldn't have knocked it over. Your stuff is always in the way. This is a glaring sign that the person you're dating is a sociopath. Most people would feel awful for breaking something that they know you loved, but sociopaths are only worried about making themselves look like the victim in any situation. Number one, isolates you. Perhaps the most frightening sign that you're dating a sociopath is if they isolated you. This is something that happens over a long period of time and often goes unnoticed. Since being in a relationship makes it difficult to see things from an outside perspective, there's a significant chance that you won't realize what's happening until it's too late. First, they'll separate you from your friends. A sociopath will try to take up all of your time so that you can't hang out with them. They might even try to turn you against them. For example, let's imagine that you have your friends at your house and your partner is there with you. When your friends leave, your partner accuses your friend of flirting with them. This is something that would make you think twice about seeing them again. After you've been isolated from your friends, it's time to get away from your family. This can happen in numerous ways, but one of the most common is suggesting that you move in together really early in the relationship. Once you're living with them, they feel like they have you trapped. So if you've noticed that you're no longer speaking with friends or seeing family often and recall comments that your partner has made to achieve that, then you might be dating a sociopath. Today's feature comment comes from Iona on our Things You Didn't Know About Zac Efron video. 
Thanks for your thoughts, Yuna. Don't forget to leave your thoughts below. I might feature you in a future video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.